four, three, two. I'm John, and tonight I want answers about Squash the Cat and legalizing marijuana. There's no stopping us now because we're live. John wants answers. John wants answers. Give John answers. Give John answers. John wants answers. John wants answers. Give John answers now. Check your calendar. If it says January 9th, 2014, then we're live. I, I made a calendar. Oh, that's great. So I could check it. <laughs> and are we live? <laughs> yes. But we would be yeah. either way. Tonight's episode deals with mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. We're what talking about, about weed. What about our discretion? Our discussion? Our discretion. Our discretion. Like oh, we if, are if, godless people. This won't stop us. It won't. My guest tonight is Keith Statenfield. He's my guest tonight because he's a news junkie, history buff, philosophy major. Yes. And we couldn't get anyone better. Exactly. Mostly that last one. Exactly. Yeah. If you've never seen the show before, the show is like a courtroom drama. I'm the prosecutor. My guest is the expert witness. And you at home and in the audience are the jury. And it's your job to convict or acquit the topics. So meet with your foreman and get a consensus. We'll be taking your tweets. You can tweet us during the show and we'll read your tweets and we'll discuss them with the world and answer them. Tweet us at John wants answer. There's no S on the end because the S is for suck and we don't this season. If well, you don't want to we, use... we don't know yet. Yeah? We don't know until we send in for the awards. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can people tweet us when we're not on the air? Yes. And if, then you're, if, you're, if we're not on the air and you tweet me, I will still, at this time, read all the tweets from last, from the wow. end of last episode till now. How many have there been? One. Wow. So far. That's, Twitter's not going to make any money. Yeah. Just sell your stock, people. Sell your stock. If you don't like using Twitter, and I don't blame you, I don't like using Twitter. I'm forced to, by the media, by society. If you don't want to use Twitter, you can go to our website, johnwantsanswers.com, and there you'll see a contact tab. Click on it, and you can send us a message. I use Twitter all the time. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm constantly tweeting. You're uh, one of those I'm a social almost. people. Yeah. This show cannot be made possible without, wait. Yeah, you screwed it up again. This show could be made possible without Lisa Tamaki, because she's not shown up anymore. She's not. But we couldn't do the show without Brian Westphal, who keeps coming and I keeps think, I paying bet we could. the bills. I bet we could. Well, it would cost us more money. Well, it would cost you more money. Yeah. I'm, I'm not And paying. so I like to think that I could not afford to finance this huge but you could. juggernaut but you could. on my own. I mean, you should really change that. It's, this you know, show is possible through the perhaps mis if you... misplaced generosity <laughs> of Brian Westphal. <laughs> The you, poor financial decision making. Maybe if you buttered up your sponsors <laughs> more, you'd have more sponsors for your show. No, no. If you've watched my show, you'll know no one will sponsor it. All right. Uh, our first topic, squash the cat. I had a cat. I had two cats. My second cat, named Squash. Squash. Sadly passed away at the age of 19 it was very on sad. Saturday. Very sad. Very, very sad. sad. I cried a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. sad. He was 19, um, which is, for a cat, that's really old. Yes. Um, he had, I think he had, this, they had cancer. So his like, liver wasn't working and his kidney wasn't working. And the things you need to live weren't working so well anymore. That's, that's sad. Yeah, yeah. So that means yeah. it's time to... Uh, you don't want to buy a new liver for your cat? They said the cancer was too far and spread everywhere. So you could buy you could buy a new cat for your cat. Just to get out, replace all the insides. You got a robot yeah. cat. Robot cat. I brought some photos. Okay. Of my cat to show to everybody. Everybody yeah, loves cat yeah, photos. Yeah. Show me a picture of Squash. Any picture. A picture. Any there. Ah, oh, see, look at him. Yeah. He looks cute. when He looks up into the air. Yeah. He's a good so looking there he cat. Is. He's there. He's looking up at something, and someone took a nice picture. Yeah. The picture is from Michelle Elahsim. 
Alessim, I, I always have, have problems pronouncing her last name. She came by to visit our house and she took some pictures. Pictures of the cat. Let's see the next picture. Did you light the cat? Another picture from Michelle Ella Sim. It's I like very, the cat a lot. It's yeah. very, very nice cat. Did a great job with He's a good cat, except for the times he would get on the kitchen table. Yeah, bad kitty. And he knew he wasn't allowed up there, because if I was in the kitchen, he wouldn't be on the table. But sometimes I'd walk into the kitchen and find him on the table. And would he look embarrassed? He would look a little like, <gasps> what do I do? And then I'd yeah. yell at him and he'd run off. Um, and he meowed too loud sometimes. He was getting deaf near the end. So when he meowed, he meowed really loud. Okay. Show me another picture of Squash. Oh, there. See, he likes uh, cats like heat. There he is in his little ball at the heat vent. Where do you think and, all the heat's going up? And that little thing he's in, that bed he's in, is electrified. It, oh. it heats up when he sits inside it. Wow. So he's looking up and he's it's like warm. technology. Yeah. Show me another picture of Squash. That's where he spent a lot of time on my lap. So I'd be like lying on my couch watching TV every night, and he'd just hop in my lap and sit there. Now, if you can tell in the background TV, that's Barack Obama. That was the uh, election night. Yeah, I guess I hadn't seen this picture before. I hadn't realized your cat was sitting on your junk. <laughs> um, that's the warmest place to be. <laughs> let's see another picture of Squash. Yeah, let's move on. Move on. Oh, look. Here's a Squash. Uh, he's uh, rubbing his uh, head on a stem, it looks like, of uh, fake flowers. See my backyard in the background? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do we have another picture of Squash? Look at that. Oh, this is an old picture. I had two cats. Uh, the black and white cat has since passed as well. And uh, there they are on top of a big cat tree, way up in the air. And they're, they're sharing a little space. And there's a... Uh, Which room is that in? That was in my apartment. Your old apartment? Old apartment. Your apartment had wood paneling? Yeah. Where good the... thing you moved. <laughs> it was pretty ugly. Yeah. And that's a uh, Taco Bell dog there. A fake Yokiro oh, Taco Bell Yokiro dog. Yokiro old Taco Bell yeah. dog, huh? Do we have any more squash pictures? Or is that it? Oh, look, look. He always had this cute, surprised look on his face. And so it, like, his eyes would be wide open. And so it's a picture of him here, and he looks like, looks surprised. Like, maybe what? It's the, maybe it's the flash. What are you doing here? <laughs> well, he couldn't react that fast. Yeah, cats are freaky. <laughs> they, got, they got reflexes. Uh, so I think that's all my picture of my cat, right? Yep. Yeah. So that's Squash. Yeah. Great cat. Yeah, he was. He was and, very friendly. And now, you could pet Squash. You could pet Squash. Kind of drooly, as yeah. I recall. But still... Did he ever Sometimes drool it was on worth you, it. or is that just anecdotal No, no, he'd evidence. like drool on my hand. Yeah? Yeah. You're, you're doing it wrong. I, my hands were never drooled up. Well, I heard you didn't pet him a lot. You have to know how to treat a cat. Yeah, okay. You pet him too much, they have to expect it. And they're yeah, standoffish. Yeah. You always make them come to you. Wow. That's the trick. You should write a book. <laughs> on how to, how to deprive your cat so it likes you. Of affection, you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Our next topic, John versus... Legal, mar legal marijuana. Marijuana. Yeah. I really should have thought more ahead. You should have. Before I we should have practiced topic. this show. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't have weeded up beforehand. Pot, weed, Mary Jane, ganja, grass, joints, bud, dope, reefer, wacky tobacco, the Doobie Brothers, Michael McDonald, token up. Puff the Magic Dragon. <laughs> These are Man, all... It's, it's like an episode of Dragnet in here. <laughs> all you need is a hat and a gruff sidekick. You're not gruff enough. Oh, wow. Man, are, now, now the tweets are, are coming getting, in. People are getting excited now. Is it about the cat? Um, no. No. Yeah. No. We're already on to it. People are getting excited with the marijuana already. Man. I offered you before the show... You did? $5 yeah. to smoke a joint here on TV. Yeah. You declined. I did. Anybody else in the room want five bucks to smoke a joint right now? We have a taker over there, but she's on, <laughs> but she's on camera. I need yeah. the, the crew wouldn't to be you, in. Wouldn't you need to then get a joint? We're not in Colorado. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, well, who brought one with them? I think that guy did. <laughs> um, have you ever smoked a joint? No, never have. No? No. If you had and yes. you said yes, could that be used against you in a court of law? I don't think so. Because people, I, I know some people on TV, like on talk shows, talk about their drug taking all the time. Yeah. And you'd think, hey, there's Well, it's possession is the crime. So unless you're arrested Talk with about it in the past. Yeah, you, you, you don't possess it. You don't have it no more. So I say, I once stole a car, but I don't got it no more. Is that? No, no, no. Because in that case, it's the theft that's the. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so admissions can't be used in court of law. So it's legal now in Colorado, right? New thing, January 1st or something, right? Yes. Uh, what other states Well, have? more more things are legal in Colorado than, and Washington State as mm -hmm. of January 1st than were before that. But, I mean, in California, if you have advice from a doctor uh -huh. that consumption of cannabis would be helpful for a <laughs> medical condition in the doctor's opinion, given to you verbally or mm -hmm. in writing, then you are allowed to possess and grow reasonable amounts of marijuana for your own personal use. I imagine I could go see a doctor and I could be really nervous to see him because yes. I'm asking for pot. So I'm yes. really nervous. Yes. Like, uh, I think I need Full some pot. Full of anxiety. Full of anxiety. Yes. And then therefore, yes, he prescribes some marijuana for me mm. for my anxiety. So it's as if I didn't really need it for my anxiety. That only existed for asking for marijuana. I think you're overthinking this because <laughs> my observation from reading the backs of various newspapers is they are more than willing to talk to you on the phone and tell you <laughs> that there's something. Clearly you sound be. messed up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and stop calling me. Um, is Colorado and Washington the only state so far where it's been? Many states have what are called medical marijuana okay. laws. But these two states are recreational. Colorado and Washington just recently, in both cases, passed citizen initiatives mm -hmm. to allow recreational use without requiring a farcical medical <laughs> basis. Uh, in both cases, you have to be over 21. I think it was 18 it's in 21, as Colorado, far as I know, in both. But okay, I'm pretty sure it's 21 in both. Um, and in Colorado and Washington, you're allowed to, again, grow a reasonable amount. I think it's like six a, plants a of each. But only three of the plants can be adults. So the theory is you got to have some growing and some not. you got to have babies. Uh, I don't them. know a lot about marijuana plants, but I think you get a a lot of marijuana from a yeah. plant if you're a single person. So now it's okay on a state level in these two states. Yes. But still not on a federal level. Federally still illegal. So what, what's that all about? So you could be buying pot in front of a state trooper, but yes. if a FBI agent comes going by, then you're screwed because he could arrest you, right? Yes. And you'll be going on federal crimes to the big Correct. house. Correct. To a federal prison. Federal prison. Well, they don't have parole. Oh, man, that sucks. Yeah, they don't have parole in federal prison? I don't think so. Yeah, that sounds weird. Um, so who could get... Who, FBI guys could get you? Uh, DEA any federal guys criminals can get you? And, and state... You know, you... In theory, a state officer could arrest you and take you to a federal agent. Oh, that'd be... That'd be messed up, man. Yeah, well, what do you do? So that's kind of weird, right? Having... It is weird, illegal. yes. Now the... Obama Justice Department said at the moment they don't intend to prosecute individual possessors in compliance with either state law pending. Uh -huh. But they've been, the DA has been bothering the medical marijuana. In California they have, California. although they yeah. have ratcheted that back in California somewhat. Okay. Uh, in California they're still... I mean, California has medical cannabis, but a lot of people are exploiting medical cannabis. Like the guys and who there call are doctors on the phone. Collectives mm -hmm. that, you know, essentially are making lots of money selling cannabis and potentially breaking other, a multitude of other laws. Down the street from me, there's this place with a neon sign in the window with a plus sign on it. It's, it's neon and green and has a plus sign. Is that the, the code? For we sell no you marijuana. Smoke here. shops. Smoke shops, I think. There's usually a guy on the street waving in people saying, hey, we got pot here. Wow. So they're really trying to trying to sell it. Um, but anyway, Colorado uh, and Washington State have both made recreational use legal. Colorado has mm -hmm. also now made it legal to buy and sell it in, you know, under a given set of laws. Mm -hmm. Colorado has like a 25% excise tax and a 15% oh, sales tax. Oh, wow. That's like up to 40% now. 
Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, I think they think in both Colorado and Washington State, the first year they'll get half a billion dollars in tax mm -hmm. revenue. And they're going to have a lot of tourism from, from the rest of the whole country yeah, going to Colorado. Yeah, marijuana tourism. Yep. You can see a Space Needle and get high. Okay. In Washington. In Colorado, wow. you can go skiing and see a film festival. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't ski high. They had good advice. Yeah. Didn't Sonny Bono do that? Then he hit a tree? Well, he skied. And, and he died. From the 70s, I'm assuming there was stuff left in his <laughs> system 20 years later. Um, what does marijuana do to me? I smoke a marijuana. Yeah? I toke up. Well, have you ever smoked before? When I was in grade 8, I smoked for a week. And by smoked, I think, I don't think I did it right. I think yeah. I did it wrong. It I was... just sucked on it into my mouth and going... I don't okay. think it actually went in my, my lungs. Okay. Yeah. So my, my guess, the first thing you would notice is a lot of coughing. <laughs> I think there'd be a lot of coughing. Uh -huh. You might drive yourself almost all the way to choking. And you, I might ask a couple myself, times. why does anybody ever do this yeah, voluntarily? Yeah. And then yeah. you'd go, and then like four minutes later, you'd know why. Oh, four minutes later, I'd be like, oh. I, 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 think, it, now, I think the reason people smoke it is it takes effect pretty quickly. Oh. And how do I feel after those four minutes? Like, I, I happy, I'm told. Happy? Yeah. Relaxed? Kind of paranoid. Paranoid. Apparently, Here's, apparently makes well, some I've, people kind of paranoid. I've seen the Kumar and Harold, Harold and Kumar movies. Yes. Which are basically pot movies. Like Cheech and Chong, I They're guess. like Cheech and Chong for our, our generation. Our generation. Yeah. No. Our generation was Cheech and Chong. Our generation's Cheech and Chong was, in <laughs> yeah. fact, Today's Cheech and Chong. Yeah. Um, you'd be like, this is my impression, right? Stop harshing my mellow. Stop okay. harshing my mellow. Dave's not here, man. And there, and I get munchies, right? Pass the Twinkies. I'm told you get the munchies. Yeah, yeah. munchies, Twinkies. Time's flying by. We gotta stop for a break now. Okay. And we come back. We're gonna talk more about drugs. Oh, marijuana, so, really? Oh, marijuana. Yeah. I mean, there's I like a lot marijuana. more drugs in there. I like to talk about any other drug, but marijuana. So, come back for that. Where are they going to go? They're going to go to the kitchen and get them to eat Again, I, and I, forget the TV's on yeah, or the internet I, browser's open. I think they f already forgot the TV was on. <laughs> I, you know, I, I find suspect it, there's a darkened room with a flickering light, uh, perhaps someone laying on the floor, frantically pushing the button, praying someone comes by to find them <laughs> before it's too late. What kind of picture are you painting? Well, that's, that's who I think our viewers are. The interesting thing about drugs, though, I just heard on the radio today that the amount of heroin usage has doubled in the last 10 years. In 10 years, really? I don't understand heroin, because all the heroin addicts you see look terrible and feel terrible and have terrible lives. And why would you see that and think, i got to try heroin? People are dumb. I don't get that. Yeah. I find it ironic that last month we did a PSA during the break about don't do drugs. Yeah. In this episode... We're talking all about drugs. Well, we're not recommending it. Not yet. No. No, no. Wait. Yeah, not yet. I, no, I do not believe I'm going to recommend it. Okay. In this show. Good to know. we got a whole pile of tweets here. Man. Um, Does your thing about cats work with women? My thing about cats work with women. Please. But not petting cats and not getting them to walk. If you don't pet a woman, she will like that. No. Wait. <laughs> Just shut up, John. Okay. I'm disqualifying your, your tweet. Oh, wow. We're getting, like, lots of... Claire Mullen needs some crew for her show. When, when's the Hi, show? Claire. Oh, wow. She's emailing everybody. When's it going to be? Um, January 13th. Monday. This Monday. Six to eight. I, I'm can't working. Make it. I'm working. I can't. Yeah, I'm working. I have, a, I have dinner club. We have dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't make it. Our show is We have dinner at seven. Yeah. We're not okay. done by it. Wow. Oh, okay. So we're coming back for the break in five, four, three, two. And we're back, and we're taking your tweets. And boy, do we have a lot. This is one of those topics. It's tweeterific. That people are interested in. Finally, we finally got it's one. It's the Google. It's the Google. Uh, I'm assuming it's the cat part. Scott Canaster from Google. From Google. That's what I said. He officially represents Google. He's I don't think that's true. PR person. I don't think that's true at all. I am watching, he says. Uh, 
He tweets again. Scott Canaster. Kind of creepy. This is funny. This is uh, interesting. Um, did you know Canaster is a brand of marijuana from Germany? No, I didn't know that. Oh. I thought it was a rock. So Scott's a pothead in Germany, I guess. NIST has the official clock. Now, I don't know if you were watching before the show, we were talking about NIST and NIST. The pre-show. The pre-show. Yeah. Special. National Institute of Science NIST Technology. has the official clock. NIST has the official thermostat. Uh, again, from Scott, he loves this show. He, he does. Loves. Or he's, he's bedridden. Why do they call it dope? Good question. Why is it called dope? Because it makes you dopey. It makes you dopey. We got official information yeah, from... Yeah. Or, or it's named after that dwarf. It's, it's named after Dopey from the... From the dwarves, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's legal when you smoke a joint on TV. Scott says you can smoke a joint... Well, I think being I, televised. Here's the thing. It's legal. I think anyone driving by in an official law enforcement capacity might notice we're live and drop in. And that part's not legal. Oh. Yeah. Well, interesting. See... In movies, they smoke fake little clove cigarettes. Prostitution, not legal. If you videotape it, it's art, and it is legal. So, there are a couple of rules on that, but yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Washington retail pots will start in April. Yeah. Oh, so right now, only Colorado. Yeah, you can't buy it in Colorado. You can't buy it in Washington State yet. We have to wait till April. That's why Colorado got all the That's going to be quite the CNN. April Fool's Day. Uh, this guy named Jim. Now, I don't know who this guy is. He's a new guy. Sorry to hear about your cat, John. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Jim. Great Cheech Chong impersonation. Yeah. Really? I thought that was terrible. It was terrible. Like, yeah. I haven't seen a Cheech and Chong movie since 1987, probably, or 86. Really? What was it? Ice Creams, Nice Dreams. Okay. What, is that, nice is that dreams, a movie? Nice Dreams would be one of them. Yeah, yeah. okay. Corsican yeah. Brothers. Corsican Brothers was Cheech and Chong. Uh, I always Up and Smoke. One. Up and Smoke. Good Cheech and Chong movie. Okay. Um, I didn't understand it, because that was... Well, again, it's better if you're... If you're already high when you're watching it, yeah, we weren't, we weren't getting yeah, high. We were seven. I was not seven. I was like fifteen or something. Um, <laughs> Scott Canaster says heroin is now available for sale at Target stores in South Carolina. I'm starting to think Scott Canaster is giving us bad info. Yeah, I think so. The last two tweets he's and given plus, us, plus, as you know, we misleading us. If, if you shop at Target, your credit card just ends <laughs> up somewhere, so we don't do that. Yeah. Man, remember the first episode you were on and you gave me misleading information? No, okay. no, I, I flat out lied to you. I lied Finally. to you during the whole episode. You, 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 you were practically in tears afterward. I remember suggesting to you. you Here's the phrase I heard. The he ruined the show. <laughs> Good times. Go back to the website. Yeah, you watch the first episode. Episode one. Episode episode one. one. Right Hilarious. in if you'd perform more episodes <laughs> like that. Finally, Scott Canastro says... What about the Mac thing on January 25th? That was Will great. Will there that be was... marijuana there? Yes. Yes? Yes. You think so? Well, there's like 1,400 people at well, least coming. If you think what that are there's the marijuana odds? What are the there? odds? I don't think it's like a concert. Like if you go see the Stones, yes. you will be smoking marijuana in the theater. Yes. Possibly but the, the Mac Stones. the anniversary, I'm not sure they'll be smoking marijuana in the theater. Yeah, but they might have it on them. They might have it on them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's our tweets. And do we have any uh, messages beyond Claire Mullins wanting some crew? I think that's it. All right. Speaking of uh, of of being naive about drugs, you know, when I was watching the Chichen Chong movie. Yeah, yeah. I'm reminded of my first concert was an In Excess concert. Yes. And I was six rows from the very back. Okay. In the huge, you know, Not baseball stadium. Not good seats. Terrible seats. Um, so I was there, and I could smell marijuana. Yes. And I knew it. Really? I knew the smell of marijuana. And How? So from, like, high school, I, I'd smell it sometimes. Okay. Okay. So I was shocked. Shocked. And so I went to a security guard. Yes. And I said, I think someone's smoking marijuana. And how did that go? The security guy said, yeah, probably. Good guess. Good guess. <laughs> and that was his entire response. And so I thought, oh, okay, I'll go back to my seat now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it was fun being 14 or si uh, 16. 16, okay. Yes. I was actually, no, I was like two days from being 16. So it's quite awakening. I, I'm in a big call, city. I think that's okay to call 16. Okay. Yeah, I think you can no round in that No one's doing any, you know, fact checking here. Um, let's compare marijuana to alcohol. Yes. Alcohol is bad because it throws your lip, your, your, 
your liver dies. It's not good a for you. Bit it's it's not great for you. Uh, may your brain cells die too. I think so. Yeah. Um, is it bad for your heart or something like that? No. And it's addictive. There's alcoholics who can't stop drinking. There are, yes. So let's take that and compare that to marijuana. Does marijuana like permanently damage your liver? Well, not your liver. They do think that if you're consuming large and possibly moderate amounts of marijuana on a very frequent basis, that it leads to some retardation in your intellectual <laughs> capacity after a while. Uh huh. Kind of makes you stupid. Yeah. Um, it makes you stupid it's not in the short term. Addictive. When you take them, right? They really know of. Not addictive. Um, there's no. Can't really overdose on marijuana, which you can on alcohol. Yeah, I mean, yeah, alcohol poisoning. Drink a lot of alcohol, yeah. you get alcohol poisoning, and you, you die four hours later. Um, um, so you get. Um, I forgot what your middle question was, so I can't answer anymore. But it. Uh, are you? You didn't take the the marijuana, right? You said no, 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 no. no. Um, so I mean, overall, it's probably better for you than alcohol. Yeah. Like I was, I was thought but alcohol is legal and has been for a long time. That's the confusing part. They decided to make alcohol legal and marijuana not legal. I know. It's crazy. I think it's, almost decided... like you, it's almost like you can make more money selling alcohol than marijuana. Yeah. Um, how about smoking cigarettes? Is oh, it healthy? bad for you. No, no. It's not good for you. Oh, I know smoking cigarettes is bad for you. Yeah. But compared to smoking marijuana, which is better? Uh, I think cigarettes are worse for you in part because of the way they manufacture cigarettes. Because tar in cigarettes, more... right? Well, I think, nicotine. first of all, you smoke... If you're just drink, if you're getting nicotine from cigarettes, you probably are smoking more cigarettes than you'd smoke joints. Uh huh. And because that's addictive. Nicotine is addictive, and so you just you more know, addictive than people heroin. go through two packs of cigarettes a day. Yeah, it's not good. And uh, and also the way they manufacture cigarettes, they put a lot of chemicals in cigarettes that burn and do things mm -hmm. that aren't great for your lungs. Um, you also don't have to smoke marijuana. I mean, you can bake it in foods. You can vaporize yeah, it. Yeah, so um, I was wondering about this. So you don't have to smoke it. You could eat it in brownies, I heard. Yeah, you can eat it in lots of things. Brownies are just, you know, the... Yeah, I mostly know about brownies. I don't hear canonical about... Canonical answer. I don't hear about pot, like, you hear rice. Pot cookies. People put in cookies. Yeah, cookies. Um, um, people put it in... Burritos? I've heard, like, uh, marijuana curries. Curries? Yeah. Like, okay. Like Indian food? Yeah, like Indian food. Uh huh. Or, or, or. But Japanese I think brownies food. are just, you know, everyone likes brownies. I'm not a big brownie fan. I'd rather have them in cookies, personally. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> now I gotta be careful when I come to your house. Yes, you do. Well, the cookies yes, you do. <laughs> have marijuana in it. Have a cookie. Um, I heard well, about your cat, so I baked you some cookies. Where, Don't eat them all at once. Where would I get drugs? Where would I get marijuana? You? Let's say I moved into a new city. Let's say I moved in San Jose. I'm new to San Jose, and I want some marijuana. Like, I don't know. Where would you go? And you didn't have the license for the medical stuff. Here's a problem with you. Uh -huh. Don't take this wrong, but you look like a narc. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be difficult for you to buy it. A narc. Because everyone, a... everyone's going to assume you're a cop. Yeah. So narc is basically a, a cop undercover. It's, it's a derogatory term for a, a policeman who would arrest you for purchasing narcotics. Was 21 Jump Street all about narcs? I never saw 21 Jump Street, but oh. I think it, I think 21 Jump Street was about like two cops that looked young and went back to high school and yeah. tried to fight high school crime, uh -huh. which I don't know how you get three seasons of TV out of that, but somehow they did. If you have Johnny Depp when he's, you know, 18, yeah, yeah. then, the, you know. Um, remember the movie Reefer Madness? You ever see Reefer Madness? No, no. Oh, okay. I'm told it's wildly I heard it, insane. Made by a church group to like tell parents... Yeah, yeah. The, the if their kids had, had weed, marijuana addiction. If their kids had weed, they'd be. Wow, man. That went straight past I'm my head. I'm being told our time is up. No, none too soon. So, um, thanks for uh, being on the show. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Sorry um, about your cat. Are you going to get, get another cat? Uh, we'll see. Okay. Right. Yeah. Our next would, show is February 13th. Would you like another cat? Are you trying to give me your cat? Yes. I don't want your cat. I've seen your cat. February 13th, our next show, the February day before 13th. Valentine's Day. Remember day. last year? Yes. We did the most romantic episode yes. of Don't Enters Yet. Next that year? That was creepy. Next year won't be as romantic, okay. I don't think. But me, I think we're going to have tips for geeks, fashion tips for geeks, to help you get a girlfriend. Stay okay. tuned for Artist On Demand coming up next. And then, our floor director has a show coming up after that, What the Bleep. And I think I'm on this one. 
You're on the talking show about all the time. terribly inappropriate things. All yeah, right. Just like this show. Good job. You gotta put the black around the letters so I can use it to read.